Oh, Lordy. Irony. Oh, my God. Irony, I think, is the word of the New World Order. Irony. You know, let's look up the word irony because this is funny. Irony is the word of the New World Order. What is irony? The expression of one's meaning by using language that normally signifies the opposite, typically for humorous or emphatic effect. <laughs> the state of affairs or an event that seems deliberately contrary to what one expects and is often amusing as a result. And I'm laughing. <laughs> okay. A literary technique originally used in Greek tragedy, ah, oh, the Greco-Roman days, by which the full significance of a character's words or actions are clear to the audience or reader through unknown, although unknown to the character. Okay, I'm telling you, we live in an ironic world now. We are going to be living in an ironic world. And the the New World Order, the, the Illuminati, okay, are right now laughing their asses off. Yes, Trump is part of the New World Order. I hate to say it, and I'm not going to have many people follow me, but I don't care. Because at this point, it doesn't even matter. I've already substantiated everything. Go down my timeline as far as the congressional record. I remember when I was a kid, I went to the library and read the congressional record. For some reason, I don't know why. I didn't know what the hell I was looking at at that point. But when you actually go online to the legislative search results, actually go to HR 6666. And yeah, that's what RFK Jr. and maybe Dell Big Tree and other people are focusing on, but they're not even mentioning. They're not even mentioning the 441 bills that are being introduced and some have passed through the House. And you know, it's a mixture of not only Democrats, but Republicans as well. Do you realize that uh, the president isn't even mentioning not only the HR 6666, but also the 440, 40, 441 bills that are right now pending? Some are being going through the process. One, I think that was a Democrat bill that passed through the House needs to go to the Senate. There are bills, there are bills of the 441 bills that are being introduced by Republicans. And, and yeah, you can kind of see what these bills are covering and they're all connected to the COVID HR bill, this HR bill, that, I mean, and, and you're seeing these smoke and mirrors from the people in the activist world and the anti-vaxxers. Oh yeah, they're going to all the surveillance and we do this and they do that and then mass vaccinations. So while you're all like, you know, distracted with your, with your rights being taken away and the mass distraction of like the vaccines and and then all of the, the, the whole the BLM and the Antifa and the riots and what else that they're put on TV. Oh yeah, someone's putting blue lights on their house. I'm back in the blue, which yeah, I mean, I, but the thing with the back the blue is you're gonna then eventually be promoting a police state, but hey, whatever. Um, I, I back anyone that is uh, protecting us, I guess. But here's the thing, all these distractions on Fox and CNN and no one in Fox, no one in CNN is mentioning HR 6666 as well as the 441 bills that have been introduced in June. I mean, you go look. I mean, my God, you go look. And, and if you go to my, actually, I'm going to just put this in the comments. This is the legislative search results and you go to the up to the right and you said there's like, you know, um, 100 per page and 441. Uh, so there's four pages or five pages. I don't know how many pages, but there's 441 bills. OK, 441 fucking bills <laughs> of like, oh, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> And I'm looking at who introduced them. I'm like, oh, shit, here's a Republican. Oh, wow, there's a Democrat. Oh, wow, it's about land grabs and and and, and creating um, maternity and reproductive care stuff, whatever. Everything has to do with the COVID. See, the COVID is the, the, the health and whatever wellness shit. And the COVID is going to be the catalyst to land grabs, federalizing everything, 
personal property, public property, commercial stuff being used for federal purposes. This is, and guess what? All the Trump people are going to be ushering this in because they're not going to look at the 441 bills. They're not going to look at the actual language and no, none of the representatives. Okay. For these people who love Trump as well as people who like, you know, Biden, and it's a joke. Okay. It's all a joke. They're not even looking at or even discussing the bills. I don't know the intricacies of it. Nobody in the Trump world is discussing these 441 bills. So Trump is an entertainer. Trump, you know, is an entertainer. He's charismatic. He's an entertainer and he is distracting you from the main thing, which you know what we've already lost. The fact that we have two sides of the same coin playing off each other. I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm hoping that the HR 6666 bill is not going to be passed until probably I'm thinking maybe probably December. I'm hoping that we can get through the, the, um, the fall without having anything crazy happen. But remember, we hear about the October surprise. We hear about all these different things, you know, every year since, since for me, 2012, we're like, Oh God, the October surprise. Oh God, what's going to happen? So, it, you know, oh my God, I'm just tripping on this. So the HR 6666 bill has not only that bill, but then 441 other bills right underneath that. And it's not like it's, it's it was hidden. I mean, it was, it was, you really have to be just, you know, curious looking at the legislative records. You have to look at, I mean, and now, I mean, now you just look at, you're like, what the hell? And so I'm looking at the legislative search results. There's like HR 7695. COVID-19 emergency telehealth impact reporting act of 2020. And this was introduced by a Republican, John R. Curtis in Utah. There's two co-sponsors, which whatever, committee house ways and means energy and commerce, latest action house 721 referred to the committee of energy and commerce. In addition to the committee of ways and means for a period to be subsequently determined by the speaker. Oh yeah, that's Nancy Pelosi. In each case for consideration of such provisions at fall as fall within the jurisdictions of the community. Da, da, da. Okay, so all these bills are being introduced. Now, here's the thing. You have Republicans introducing a bill. You're like, oh, well, they can veto it. Well, why would a Republican veto something that's COVID-19 emergency telehealth? And people are saying, oh, yeah, you know, Trump, Trump veto, Trump. Trump canceled the uh, HR 666 bullshit. When you go into the this legislative government track for HR 6666, 116th Congress, and you look at the actual bill, the tracking, it tells you right there, it's been introduced. There's a tracker, sponsor, rep, Bush, Bobby L, Democrat, Illinois, House Energy, or the committees, House Energy and Commerce, last action, 5-1-2020. Refer to the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. Tracker, introduced. It hasn't passed the House yet. It hasn't passed the Senate yet. It hasn't been to the President yet. And now, you're saying if it goes to the President and he vetoes it, then you can say, yeah, it was canceled by Trump. But it hasn't even passed through the House yet. It hasn't even passed through the Senate yet. It hasn't even gotten to the freaking President yet. And no, it's not law yet, but I'm waiting for both the Democrats and Republicans in Congress to now unify. Now all of a sudden, the irony, they're going to unify under the, 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 the foundation of safety. It's the COVID. Yep, we got to unify under the COVID. It's all about for your protection. Oh my God, this is so crazy. And so then I looked at um, how I found the 441 bills as I looked at, uh, what did I look on here? Because, oh, constitutional... Oh yes, yeah. subject, policy, or health. View subjects. View subjects. Hold on. Please read my book. All right. 
people just don't understand. I have a book out. If you want to read it, I can't help you. All right, anyway, so view sub. Now, where did I go? Crap, I got distracted. Jesus. Okay. And so I view this, the view the area, subject terms, signed HR 666, 116th Congress. Okay, and that's cardiovascular and respiratory health. Oh my God, there's like six subject matters. Oh, Lordy. And there's a thousand seven hundred. Oh my, okay. There's so many. Oh my God. I got to revise my thing now. 441 plus a thousand. I got to write this down. Holy shit. Plus. A thousand zero seventy six for that specific. OK, this is so interesting. So we have so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven subject areas attached. attached to HR 6666, 116th Congress, 2019-2020. So I bet you they're gonna pass all this probably in December, right at the 11th hour. <laughs> I freaking bet you. So number one is cardiovascular and respiratory health. Cardiovascular and respiratory health. So the 1,076 bills there. Holy crap. And then we have emergency medical services. So we have emergency medical services. And how many bills are being introduced there? Oh, wow. There's going to be 1271. Now, there's some of these could be redundant, but that's still a lot. So 1271. But I don't know. Maybe there could be different variations of the same bill. Three. What's there? All right, and health care cost coverage three. And this is 909, 909 bills for. <laughs> seven. So there's probably it's probably redundant but that's still right now already it's interesting how they have everything separated out i mean if i were to go and do like i could put everything in a spreadsheet and then look for the redundancy and then separate it out and actually separate every single bill i could do that but i really don't feel like doing that but that would be, that's how i could probably filter out the the redundancy but i want to really give you guys to see get the point that there's a lot of bills behind HR 66 that you're not even aware of because there is redundant. So that's 909. Okay. So if anything, really think about it, the highest number is probably the one that's how many. Okay, and this is, there's 441 on that one. Okay, so there's 441 on that one. God, I forgot, I didn't even look at the other ones. I was just looking at one, I'm like, holy crap. And then health programs, administration, and funding. Let's see. So interesting. Oh, there's 801 bills right here. 801. Okay. Let me kill off that. And health technology devices and supplies. So six. Uh, 518 and seven. All right. And there's just eight actually. I guess there's eight, eight subject matters. Jesus. Okay. That's 1,148. Jesus. 1,148 on there. I am freaking 
blown away. But I guess, you know, if you're all into the, the emotions, you're not going to pay attention to the actual laws. 451 on this one. So 8 is 451. So if there's truly redundancies and they're doing, I would say there's probably 1,271, 1,271, 1,271 different bills that are being introduced that are piggybacking off of HR 6666. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to modify that, those posts. There's more than freaking 404. There's, seven, there's 1,271 at least different bills that I know of. There's eight different subject matters, and each of them have different bills or the same bills, redundant for each of the eight different subject matters. So... Yeah, so there's the cardiovascular and respiratory health, legislative subjects, policy areas, and health. So that's why HR is health. Health something. What, is H, what does HR stand for? HR. HR. I got to know all these different, because I don't pay attention. I, I used to not pay attention, but now I guess we have to, obviously. HR acronym. HR acronym. Legislative branch. Um, I wish I knew. All this legal stuff. The heroes at that past the house. Okay. I just wish. Okay. Well. Well, anyways. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it probably does or doesn't. House of Rep. Oh, House Representatives. Okay. Maybe that's what it is, is the House of Representatives. But why? Okay. Yeah. Because it has to go through. Oh, my God. There is definitely, you know, processes that I, I haven't studied too much government in a while. But I guess HR's house rep. I guess yeah, HR's house rep. House of Representatives. That's my guess. Yeah. So H. Dot R. House of. Rep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. HR. Student, how? Okay. There you go. House of. Rep, okay. So there you go. HR. House of Representative Act. As I want to make sure I know my terms, it's not like health or anything. It's HR, so the House, which is basically the Democrats, okay? And they're being supported by the Republicans because Republicans are introducing these bills to the HR. So the H, so here's the thing. So they're piggybacking. So here's the thing. The HR 666 is now with all of these other bills that people aren't even aware of or talking about. Okay, and so I'm just thinking like, oh my God, there's so many, there's so many bills. How are we going to know? And so, and this is in 2019 and 2020, and this is all in relationship to HR 66666. And, and I'm like, okay, so they're all separate bills, but why would HR 6666 be the whole thing? Why would all those piggyback off of that? Well, I mean, it's part of all of these other bills. It's part of this whole COVID-19. Okay, it's not just the whole tracing. It's not just the whole tracing thing and taking your rights away and whatever. There's so much more. There's so much more to this. So, you know, there's... Jesus. There's a lot going on. And, and uh, the Republicans... Yeah. Because the Republicans, I mean, I don't, this is, I don't know. It's, Trump's not even talking about it. And I don't know. I'm just, he's not even talking about HR 6666. You know, there may be other bills out there, but he's not even talking about these bills. He's just, you know, if he is, if he is for the people, he would talk about all these different bills. He would say, go to your, 
because we know people aren't going has no one's mentions people are saying oh yeah trump you know trump canceled hr 666 so i'm like where the hell did you get that i went over to the freaking website and looked oh yeah it's still it's been introduced so trump's not even mentioning to his own audience that there are 1,271 bills in play at this moment in time being considered along with the HR 66666. Okay? And Republicans, Fox and CNN aren't mentioning anything. If you go to C-SPAN, you might catch something on C-SPAN if you have C-SPAN. But who's going to sit and listen to freaking congressional talks about this? And when you have 1,271 bills, and you have to know each intricacy of each bill, the, the language of it, what is how it's going to affect your kids, how it's going to affect your community, how it's going to affect you. 1,271 bills. That's a lot of fucking bills, along with the HR 66666. See, this, this, so you have to know that both the Democrats and the Republicans are not in your best interest, but it doesn't even matter now at this point. The, the, the train has left the station a long time ago, way before Obama, way before Bush. I mean, the kickoff was around Bush, yeah, 9-11. But this has, been, this has been a long range plan for years, ever since probably before I even came to America, okay? This has been a long range plan. And so, yeah, it's great to see a flotilla of people in their boats in Trump, you know, Trump people in their boats in Florida, that's great. But are they paid attention to HR 66666 and the 1,271 bills that are also piggybacking around that? That's been introduced by the House of Representatives. HR 66666. And then you have the Republicans introducing bills that are in conjunction with that. And it's so circuitous. And yet RFK, who is part, who who's, has a family in politics, isn't even telling. They're just focusing on the HR 666, but nothing else. There's like land grabs here and there's community hospitals here and there's other things. Um, it's, yeah, it doesn't even matter. At this point, you know what? My whole thing is, my whole thing is, my, my community needs to understand that if you submit to the COVID-19 testing, if you submit to the COVID-19 testing, you are now putting your family under that type of, of surveillance. And then yeah, those vaccines and what else? The vaccines, yes, and the therapeutics with those aggressive antibodies to where Moderna, who is fast tracking these vaccines, they call Moderna, is probably put more aggressive antibodies, more aggressive antibodies in the vaccine, as well as then if you don't do a vaccine or if you do vaccine, but you, and then you do the therapeutics and they're like, oh yeah, we have an antiviral, especially for COVID-19, those therapeutics are gonna work in conjunction with the vaccines and you're gonna have a double, triple whammy of antibodies in your body. And those that are not doing jelly juice, are going to have an accumulation and they're going to be even more effed up. See, those of you that have kids and those of you that um, that are just coming upon jelly juice, you have to read my book to understand why CBD and CBD oil and why antibiotics and all that are going to work against you. All the holistic stuff are going to work against you. And that's why I have a book. And so you're going to figure out, you know, when you do the protocol, how much you give your kids, because you'll know that you're going to have to deal with healing symptoms. And if you want to give Jilly Juice protocol to your kids, you're going to have to deal with healing and evolution. And so, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy, but I'm telling you, yeah, 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 wow. And it's find it very interesting that there was a Republican that did Co try to co-sponsor or was going to co-sponsor the, the 666 bill, HR 666 bill, and then withdrew. And makes you wonder that he was probably talked out of it because it would look, they want to look like, they, they want to have the Democrats look like, they want people to think the Democrats are looking evil. But there's other bills out there 
that are going to affect the population run by the by the Republicans. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I know this, you know, I do not want anybody in my world ratting my husband and I out if we hang out with them. And so once that H.R. 666 bill gets passed through, there's like, now you're going to have to figure out who your friends are. And it's going to say, well, I don't, you know, and then that's the thing. If people come to your house and you have no control over that and then they're tracked and it's, and then their, their wife or their husband or whoever submits to a DNA test. And then they're like, yeah, I went over to this guy's house. They're like, well, what did you do for the last, like, you know, however many days? Oh, I went to this guy's house and this guy's house and this guy's house. And yeah, so it's like, yeah, you, it's like you are your brother's keeper at this point. That's how exactly how this works. Just something, you know, you guys, just something to, to look at. But pay attention to all these different bills. Do your homework. Pay attention to what is being put out there. Pay attention to what these Republicans are putting out there. Pay attention to what these Democrats are putting out there. You know, check out your congress.gov legislative search results. Look at all the different bills that are attached to the health, especially with COVID-19, 116 Congress. Okay? Definitely pay attention. Because if you don't pay attention then you're going to assume that, you know, whoever says that they're a hero out there on TV, you won't, you'll be looking this way while things in the slate of hand are doing things that way. And oh my, which they already are. Some of you don't even care. I know that, but I don't know. I'm tripping. All right. Bye.